All right, going to scroll on Facebook here and see what new statues are available. Uh, Another Batman statue. Wait a minute, this isn't even a Batman statue, it's a, a Joker statue. A Joker statue? A another Joker statue? I mean, another Batman, I mean, another Joker, another Batman, jo another Batman Joker statue? I'm gonna type on the Facebook and I'm gonna be negative about how they never make any characters that are different than Batman. We don't need another Batman. We don't need another Joker. Good guy. Uh, we always, always need more Batman statues. I mean, but I don't know. Can you top this one? It's going to be hard for sure. But this is not a Batman statue. This is a Joker statue. And I know, again, we can never have too many Jokers, of course, because I am the Batman statue collector. I love Batman. I love Joker. But I understand. I understand that we want new characters. But this is certainly definitely different. And this is from the mind of George Jimenez, of course, from Joker War. Absolutely incredible art piece here. But is this one going to be for everyone? And I know some people reached out and said, hey, Chris, you're going to do a hit or miss on this. So, yeah, why not? Let's do a hit or miss on this. Again, George Jimenez, Joker. Um, me, personally, this is one that from day one I thought was really unique. And I feel like it had to be in the Batcave. So I will most likely be pre-ordering it. Now, I have not pre-ordered it as of yet as the recording of this. However, it is definitely one that I want to. However... <laughs> Again, the price point here uh, is quite high, although it is the norm. Uh, we're looking at $1,500 for the bonus edition. Um, and so it is what it is. Um, I know I did a rant video recently about the quarter scale being that much. I, I think that is just asinine. It's ridiculous. But if you're willing to pay it and it means that much to you, then by all means, get it. But I think that this is where we're at. We're at that $1,300, $1,500 price point is going to be standard and it does, us, it does us no good to complain about the price point um, because people keep buying anyway, right? At least most of us, uh, but not everybody. There have been people that have dropped off, but there's always new collectors coming in as well. So it is what it is. High prices everywhere. We could talk about that for hours, but I want to talk about the art. I want to talk about is this one worth your purchase? Again, it's probably going to be a purchase for me, but it's very different and it's very unique. And so is it a hit or miss? Let's talk about it right now. Okay, so here we go. So obviously this is Prime One's promo. Uh, we actually saw this at one of the Next Level events, which is really cool to see, but it does give us an idea. I always like it in video form a little bit better than just the slideshows. But the crazy thing about this one is it is so maniacal looking. It is so evil looking. Um, and it's contorted. It's kind of creepy. Um, the bat suit, I feel like it's oversized on him because the Joker would be under scale compared to the Batman. Batman would be bigger and bulkier. Um, so I know some people pointed that out and I think it's brilliant. I think it's genius. Um, obviously very, very creepy. You have a couple of different options for the portrait. There's also going to be a bonus version as well. So you're going to want to pay attention to this video to find out exactly what you're getting. Again, you're going to look at the $1,500 price point here, $1,500. Now, as the recording of this, I have not seen a regular. So I think this one might be the only one offered. Maybe they'll do one with just one portrait. Um, I think I would be okay with that. I, I really like the masked portrait, but I just don't know for sure if that's exactly what we're going to end up getting or not. Um, but if it's, if it's deluxe, it's deluxe, right? This is, again, the bonus version. Obviously, here we see the 360. Um, you're going to see a lot of great, uh, you know, base with the smoke coming up. And it does remind me a lot of, of course, the, um, you know, the Batman uh, behind me, the Fabok Batman with the smoke billowing up. So could it pair up really nicely with it? I think so, yes. Okay, so now let's get into the gallery itself. Um, again, this is the Joker bat suit, so it is the Joker, uh, which I love. And... It's just a very exciting piece for me because it's something so incredibly different. Look at the purple cape. I mean, the purple cape alone is so unique. It has this kind of this tealish blue silver metallic color. Um, but the cape is what really stands out to me, the blue and the purple. Um, clearly, nothing like that in my cave at all. Obviously, there's purple with the Joker, uh, sometimes purple with Catwoman or maybe Riddler. But it's just so dynamic the way the cape is. I'm hoping that they do the same thing as this cape, the Fabok behind me. Um, I would love to see them do something like that uh, with a lightweight material, not heavy. 
Um, I think that is smart for them to go do that going forward. Um, you do get the swappable head parts, at least with this particular version. Again, I don't know if they'll offer, offer a regular, but as you can see, it's got the mast, it's got the unmasked. I think the mast is my favorite. I think it just looks really super, super evil. And I just love the way they, they captured the evilness and spirit of the Joker. Um, you also have the broken cowl where you can see the rest of Joker's portrait, obviously some hair coming out. I think that looks good. I know some of you have really, really been impressed with the Joker portrait. I, I don't really know if I would display it this way, um, although it is very, very cool. Um, but I don't know, I just like the mask portrait. I think it's really unique with, with the Joker wearing Batman's costume. Like that's pretty awesome, right? He's been Jokerized. Um, but it does look cool, I will admit that. It does look cool. But I just don't know if it's for me. Now, this bonus portrait is really cool, too. It's a, the full portrait. So if you want to see the entire Joker face, obviously, he's got a little bit of the longer hair look with George Jimenez. Um, so it's cool. I, 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 again, I just really prefer, in my opinion, the mass portrait. Um, it's got the batarangs that does match the ones on the Joker on Throne. So if you're, I mean, imagine this one punchline on the Joker on Throne. I mean, the three of them together would make one heck of an awesome display, without a doubt. Um, the base is definitely a crunched up Destroy Batmobile. We've seen that before, so it's nothing new, it's no nothing revolutionary, but I do think it looks really good there. I like the stylized look with the bat wheel. Um, this is fun. It's got all the ha-has with the green. Um, just fun. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I just think it looks badass. I think it's really different. It's really unique. Um, and I, again, guys, I know it's not going to be for everybody. It is clearly not going to be for everybody. So I expect I expect a low ES. Um, I really, really do. I think the Joker on Throne and Punchline will sell better than this one. Um, but I have to order this. I mean, it's just so different and so unique. I just really, really am wowed by it. Um, I just, I, I, I love it. It's so different and it's so creepy. The, the colors, the colors bother me a little bit because it's going to be such a weird pop of color in my collection where I have all these muted colors. Um, but I mean, look at that. I mean, it just looks sweet. And that purple cape, again, I hope they do the lightweight material. That would be awesome. Uh, again, I could take or leave the bonus portrait. It might be one that grows on me a little bit. Um, I don't know how often I would swap out, but usually the bonus portraits are the same price. So why not get the bonus portrait um, if you're going to get it? Um, and it is available right now at the link down below in the description. Uh, from Prime 1, I don't know if Sideshow will carry it. They might not. But, I mean, look at that. Look how evil it is. It is so evil, so maniacal. Uh, but uh, from top to bottom, guys, I just absolutely love it. So, as always, I'm going to turn it back over to you. What do you guys think about this? Again, it is the Joker. Um, I love the fact that the suit is oversized because the Joker is not as big as Batman. Batman should be more bulkier for sure. And so, depending on what version you're having. But I really like this. Um, yes, it was only a few panels. I get that. Um, so, again, this might not be for you. This might be you know, one you could easily pass. And thank God for those. Thank God for those pieces that we can easily pass because then save your money for the next one that you can't wait for. Um, I love the Joker and I love Batman. I love the combination. Of course, I was just that uh, for a Rogues Gallery live auction. That was a lot of fun. Uh, the timing was weird, uh, but it was it worked out great. Um, but I, I don't know. It's just I love that joining of the two characters. For Batman Who Laughs is very similar. I mean, Batman Who Laughs looks like Batman you know, with Joker. So it's... I don't know. I just I think it's really awesome. I think it's something different. And again, I'm to the point in my collection where I'm looking for different. I want something that's going to stand out and be unique. And this piece, for sure, I think is going to be unique. Um, but will it get made? That's another thing. Will it get made? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be popular enough, but hopefully it will be. Fingers crossed. So please order. Uh, I do have the link down below uh, if you order directly from Prime One. Uh, again, thank you for using that link. It does help support the channel. Thank you guys for that. But again, leave your comments down below what you think about this piece. Uh, I would love to read your comments. Anyway, thank you guys so very much. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And again, I want to remind everybody in case you haven't seen it, we have a spooky live unboxing. That's right, Batman Damned. A horrible, horrific piece with that skull. It's going to be creepy. It's perfect for Halloween. Sunday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Join me. It's the very first time that I've had it in the collection. I'm very excited to see it. Uh, some collectors like Eric B. recently just picked it up and convinced me to pick it up myself. Cannot wait. So anyway, please join me again Sunday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's Halloween Eve. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. Hope you're all doing great. Please continue to be good to yourself. Be good to your neighbor out there. And just again, thanks for taking time to watch my video today. Love you all. I'll see you in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. 
Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.